Ashley Gibson, first of all, congratulations uh, on your year extension at the, the Bradford Bulls. How does it feel? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty pleasing, to be honest. Um, before that, I've had a good, good run of games this year, so I played like 19 games or something, so before I obviously did my fun, but um, yeah, it's pretty pleasing to be It's a good club to be at and uh, good people around the club, really, really excited for it. And one of the strong points of the club is that magnificent support from the fans. Yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah, like, um, I think it's been noted all year, everyone's said it all year about the support we have, like, the away games we've been at, it's, it's like an home game, really, so... Um, that's always a bonus, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pleasing. The clubs with them, they've stuck by the club with like through all the adversity we've been through. So yeah, it's pleasing. And uh, how pleased are you that obviously you've done enough to convince John Kerr and Andrew Chalmers, you know, to continue your stay at the club? Yeah, yeah obviously that's what you that's what you want to do. Don't you want to you want to impress the coach and obviously obviously the owner. Um, I'd worked with John before, so he obviously knows um, what I'm about. So um, yeah, it's really pleasing, really pleasing for me. And obviously, it's been well documented that it is a, a very youthful, uh, graphable side on some occasions this season. The the average age has struggled to get past uh, 24 years. I mean, uh, without disclosing your age uh, yeah. too much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sort, of, yeah, I'm sort of topping that age up. But um, yeah, it's a good young squad. Um, there's some good young, young players here. Um, as you say, yeah, I'm 32. I think this month, so I've been topping that age to 24. I think. <laughs> So uh, yeah, 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 it's, it's really good. Uh, it's good young boys coming through. There's some real f uh, talent for the future. Yeah. Do you feel that you can pass on your experience on to some of those younger players? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like um, I'm not the loudest, but loudest around the bunch. But obviously, um, I'm experienced. So hopefully, um, some of some of them traits and my professionalism can um, play off on them. And one of the, the young players who's uh, really had a couple of eye-catching performances since his loan deal was announced from Castleford is uh, Toyo Igodo. What, what can you say about Toyo? Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a big powerful thing, isn't he? Um, yeah, I was watching him. I, thought, I didn't think I'd get my position back watching in the stands, but um, obviously he went over on the left this, this week um, and he scored that trick straight away. So, um, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty talented isn't he, for, a, for a young lad and um, he's got a bright future. And in terms of the, the future of the, of the Bradford Bulls, we know there's an, an impending EGM where Bradford's promotion could be decided on a vote, but uh, if it is rejected and the club have got to do it the, the hard way through the playoffs, uh, do you think that certainly your experience can help the side in that regard? Yeah, yeah, there's been a few, there's been a few rumours going about and a few boys have been speaking about it, but Obviously, John just told us to forget about that and just get us in his mindset. It's going to be um, playoff football. So um, over the next remaining games, we just need to get um, sort of grinding, keeping more possession and um, playing more knockout football sort of, sort of thing. Yeah. Does Sunday's game against the the West Wales West Wales Raiders, uh, no disrespect to them, but does Sunday's game perhaps uh, give you an opportunity to to fix some of those things? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we can obviously work on his on his attack a lot more there, and uh, just probably have a bit bit more focus um, with ball in hand. As his defence obviously was pretty good at the weekend, so um, obviously it's going to be as a as a defence being good all season really. So it's obviously it's just an attack that um, we sort of need to um, tidy up a bit. But um, yeah, it's a good opportunity on on Sunday to do it. But obviously we're still giving West Wales the respect that they deserve, so it'll be good. And obviously, Ashley, uh, final question, your contract here in 2019, you'd, you'd love that for the Bulls to be playing Championship Rugby League? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, definitely, 100%, yeah, that's what, that's the goal, that's the aim of, of everyone in it, um, I think everyone, every player wants to go up there and play in that division, then obviously go from there and see, see what happens in 2020, so.